Hello once again, this is Bill Hayhurst from TelQuest Tech Support. Today we'll be talking about the IP Office Essential Edition Release 7.0. In particular, we'll be talking about using the GMX mail service for SMTP outbound email. Setting up the SMTP outbound email server address can sometimes be difficult. The customer may not know the account name, the sender name, the SMTP server address or name, even the password. The SMTP outbound email is used primarily to notify users that they have a voicemail message by means of email. They can also attach the voicemail message as a WAV file. So rather than going around for several hours trying to collect this information from various sources, we find it's much better if you can handle it yourself. And based on that, we've developed this help page that will help you create a new email account with a new email service provider for free and take control of the situation. I have discovered that there's a service provider, gmx.com, that will give you a free email account. Now you might be tempted to say, what's the big deal? There's lots of email service providers on the net, Yahoo, Gmail, etc., that I can use. Well, that's true, but you can't use them with the IP Office Essential Edition. And I'm going to show you why in a little bit. So pay close attention. All right, the first thing you need to do is go to www.gmx.com and create a free email account. Now when you do this, you're going to have to put in a real valid email account that you have someplace else, like Bob at Comcast or Joe at Adelphia.net and so on. Use your email address as the base. That way, if there's any problems, you'll be notified rather than the customer. Once you've created the GMX email account, go over to the manager program for the IP Office Essential as we have on the screen right now. What you're going to do is go over here in the left column, click on System. Then we're going to go over to the SMTP tab right over here. Click on that. And as you can see, the information that's here already is what you'll be putting in. This is the IP address of the SMTP server, the GMX. As of the end of June 2011, it works they could potentially change it in the future. This is the main reason why you can't use other email services and you can use GMX. The IP address for gmx.com stays the same all the time. The IP address for yahoo.com, for Gmail, and other email service providers use a rolling or rotating uh, IP address. It constantly changes to avoid spammers. So based on that, this is the one good reason that you need to use GMX. So we can see up here, the IP address goes in here. The port number is 587. Don't worry about this little warning here. It doesn't really matter. The email address from, this will be the account that you created. Now in here, I put in my account. But I've also suggested that what you really should do is put in like voicemail info, voicemail 101, voicemail something because this piece of information right here is what's going to appear on your customers from column or from area when they receive the email so then they will know by looking at it that it's from a voicemail service also in here you do have to put the authentication information in. and again it'll be my account at gmx.com that you created and whatever password you put together for that account there are a few other things you need to do in the KSU that are not covered in this lesson, but I will mention them. You have to set the KSU to be a static LAN address on the customer's network. You have to set the subnet mask, and you have to create an IP route so that the KSU can get out on the Internet. That's covered in another video. Now, one other thing concerning GMX.com. If you don't actually use their GMX service from your computer, you're only using it from the voicemail, you may get a message from them. And I'm going to post it right here. Basically, they're saying that they haven't seen you using the service for some time. They want you to come back and use it. It's much better if you get that notification 
than the customer. First off, they probably won't know what it's all about. Secondly, the service will be turned off or discontinued, and you sure don't want that to happen. The solution is to create one GMX.com email account and use it for all your customers. Use your own email address as the contact for them. This is why when they send out the notice, it will go to you. You can simply click on the notice and renew the account. If you put it in the hands of your customer, you're most likely going to have a problem. Well now, that concludes this lesson on using a GMX email service for the SMTP outbound email of your Avaya IP Office Essential Edition. If you have any questions or comments, give your TelQuest salesperson a call. We're always ready to make changes to these videos. Once again, this is Bill Hayhurst for TelQuest Tech Support. Thanks for watching this video.